But when you're an officer in America, your job is to grind the population into submission. Just grind them into submission because parlaying uh, some middle ground is a sign of weakness to them. This officer needs to be arrested yesterday. How we doing, everybody? Let's um, continue this chain of thought, this chain of process. My name's Jill. This is the Identity Booth. My goal here is to identify with you as you try to identify with me. And I often notice whenever there's a questionable video of police brutality, people, bootlickers, empathizers of the state will come into my chat comment sections and say stuff like, Let's get the full video. Let's get the full video. Let's get the understanding situation. But I often have to remind people that we don't give police the benefit of the doubt because they're good. It's because they want, because the, it, it benefits the state for the police to remain in a position of power. So when we have a situation like this, where we have a 17 year old in the car with his girlfriend, I believe eating McDonald's, relaxed, chilled, not doing a thing. And then within 38 seconds of an officer seeing his vehicle, calling for backup, and him storming to the driver's side door with no disregard because he thinks the car matches the description of a vehicle that escaped them yesterday, it makes you wonder, what, why, who do we let onto the streets and why is this okay? A, a Texas DA has identified the San Antonio police officer who was fired from his job for shooting a 17 year old boy who had been eating a meal in a McDonald's parking lot in his car last week. The teen was critically injured. We do want to warn our viewers, this video of this shooting is graphic. Get out of the car. What? <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! CNN's Josh Campbell is joining. First and foremost, was that a lawful order? Get out of the car. No, no lights and sirens. No knock at the window. No identification. As far as this dude is concerned, he's being carjacked right now. He says, "Why?" Because he doesn't even understand he's being approached by an officer. This is so dangerous. And they'll always say the dumb shit first. Police safety. Police. It. He called for backup. He could have waited. In the time it would have taken him to go back to his police vehicle that you can see in the background. And just look up the license plates to see does those plates match. This could have been avoided. But the fact that he wanted to be an action hero, six months on the job, action hero, it's, it's, it's dumbfounding. It's ridiculous that someone who's only been on the job for six months is allowed to just patrol this. And you're probably thinking, well, what did the kid do beforehand? The kid was sitting in his car eating a McDonald's meal. The officer was there for a completely unrelated issue. But I want to stick on that six months bullshit, right? Because I just took to Indeed and said, one year of experience, USA, internship, high school degree in the last 14 days. I think it's strange that they're a marketing executive. This is clearly a scam. People don't click this. Some things you need. Front desk. They won't get You got to have one year of experience before you can become a front desk agent for Comfort In. A career coach. Howard Center, Vermont, $19 an hour, need one year of experience. Leasing consultant, one year of experience, $18. Entry level client services, next level consulting, this is a scam for sure, one year of experience. Podcast and social coordinator, not what I'm doing, just to coordinate the shit in the back end. $1,000 a month, $2,000 maybe. Cashier, one year of experience, $14, bucks. medical marijuana Clinical social, one year, $20 a month, part-time. 
Salmon recovery special, 2000 a month. Customer service, social media, and many, like, so these are all tasks that we don't trust people to do. Welding apprentice, we don't trust people to do after one year of experience. The fact that we trust a, a person, the, the, and let's use the same stats, a person who has a high school degree to do this, to carry a gun around and make keynote decisions like that is staggering. A teenager eating in his car McDonald's parking lot was shot by a rookie police officer just over a week ago. The teen is on life support. The authorities are investigating. They had this kid handcuffed to the fucking bed. And we're going to charge him with assault because the car hit him. What? Police like the the I, it's just it's a sweeping statement. All cops lie. Period. It's just a sweeping statement at this point. Uh, Texas Ra Ra Radio Moraine Navarro has more on the incident. Uh, Officer James Bernadette has been been with the San, San Antonio Police Department for seven months when he was dispatched to a McDonald's for an unrelated disturbance call the night of October 2nd. Damn. On body camera footage released by the police department, he is heard identifying a car in the parking lot as a vehicle that fled from him the night before. And the video shows Bernard as he approaches the car and suddenly opens the door of the driver's side door. 17-year-old uh, Eric Cantu is seen sitting inside and heard, and he orders Cantu to get out. Seconds later, Bernard is heard firing several shots, 10 in total, into him. Attempts to reach Bernard and the police union for comment unsuccessfully. Cantu will, was initially charged but with evading detention in a vehicle and assaulting a police officer. But on Friday, Becker County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez said in a news conference recorded by local station News 4, WOAI, that his office has dropped the charges against Kantu. That's the only good thing that's, that's come from this. Joining us live from Los Angeles on this, uh, Josh, what can you tell us about what's really just disturbing to watch here? Incredibly disturbing, Brianna. And you know, you ask any respected law enforcement leader in America, and they will tell you that the key attribute they look for in new recruits is judgment. And of course, it's the judgment of this now fired That's rookie bullshit. San Antonio officer that has now come under scrutiny. We'll warn our viewers again that what you're about to see is graphic. It is disturbing. These are the mere seconds where an officer's decision to use deadly force resulted in a teen now fighting for his life. Authorities say San Antonio police officer James Brennan was handling an unrelated disturbance call at a McDonald's last Sunday evening when he saw a car he believed evaded police the previous day. Hey, can you start me one more? I got a vehicle over here that uh, fled from me the other day. 17-year-old Eric Cantu was eating a meal in the parking lot. Body camera video released by police shows the officer walking up to the driver's side of the car, opening the door and ordering the startled driver out. Yeah. That's such a bad move. Like, what, 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 what response do you expect? If I had, if I was sitting there and I had a weapon, I would have shot. The moment my door opens, I'm firing. Because what logical reason would anyone have for walking up to my door and opening it and or get out of the car? Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! According to the body camera video, the teen had put the car into reverse before the officer fired five times. After the driver shifted the vehicle and moved forward, Brennan fired five more times. The San Antonio Police Department said the teen was found a block away, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. A passenger in the car was uninjured, police said. Eric Cantu was hospitalized in critical condition.
His attorney told CNN the teen is literally fighting for his life every minute of the day, as his body has endured a tremendous amount of trauma. Meanwhile, the San Antonio Police Department announced it has fired Brennan for violating several department policies. In this circumstance, the department terminated the probationary officer's employment due to his actions during this incident, which were in violation of department. If he's on probation, why doesn't he have a partner with him? Like, when I hear someone's on probation, they need to be assigned to a partner. Because if I was on probation, I would, like, all, all my, the med students, when they're on probationary period, they have to be at the hip of a charge nurse or the hip of a fellow or resident. This is the equivalent of us letting a med student, fresh off of his fourth year, into a surgery and letting them lead the way. Besides the fact that they might shit themselves in the process, it's just not logical. That patient is going to die. Mental tactics, training, and procedures. According to SAPD, the department's deadly force policy does allow police to fire if someone is using deadly force against the officer for self-defense. But the manual also says an officer in the path of an approaching vehicle shall attempt to move to a position of safety rather than discharging a firearm. And officers should not shoot at any part of a vehicle in an attempt to disable the vehicle. The SAPD said it is investigating the incident and will forward its findings to the Bear County District Attorney. The District Attorney's Civil Rights Division is conducting a full review of the case, which it will then submit to a grand jury. Meanwhile, the DA has dismissed the charges of evading detention and assault on an officer against the teen, saying in a statement, the facts and evidence we have received so far led us to reject the charges against Eric Cantu for further investigation. The county's online court record system shows Cantu's case has been closed. Now, Brianna, police claim that that officer was struck as the teen reversed in that vehicle. We don't see that from the vantage point of the body camera of, that was on that officer's chest. And there's no other video of this evidence because although the officer called for backup, he didn't wait for additional officers before approaching that car. It's worth pointing out we have reached out. The thing that's crazy about this, I can go over a list of things, ways he could have done this safer. First step. Get in your patrol vehicle and block his vehicle in because you clearly said that this vehicle evaded you the night before or the other day. So you have him dead to rights, parked in a parking lot, roll up, spin up behind him, block him in, put your lights on and get on the loudspeaker and tell him to get out the vehicle. Option two, maybe wait on your backup, rookie. Wait, maybe wait up on your backup because, you know, although the vast majority are useless two useless people are normally better than one useless person unless you're trying to get something done then the less useless people you have the better off you'll be maybe that's why he decided to go but he was so useless he didn't understand that he was part of the punchline trying to think for racist people like authoritarian people is maddening is is pure madness so then let's go with the final option right option three and this one is just off the cuff. Hey, maybe knock on the window. Say, hey, man, how you doing? Uh, not to alarm you, but I think your vehicle matches the description of a, of a vehicle that was fleeing from a crime scene yesterday. Um, do you mind uh, just, you know, putting, I know you're eating and I completely get how this might be, but it's just something we can clarify. Uh License registration. Can I just get your car keys real quick? In fact, I'll let you just keep eating there. Let me just run some information for you real quick. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But when you're an officer in America, your job is to grind the population into submission. Just grind them into submission because parlaying uh, some middle ground is a sign of weakness to them.